everybody talks about websites that are borderline illegal to use. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about one that perhaps is borderline illegal, but nevertheless, it's really impressive. Some of these capabilities are outside of the norm, and I promise you, you haven't seen a website like this or a platform, or should I say an AI tool? Yeah. Today, we're going to be exploring same.dev. Same.dev allows you to clone any website on the internet as soon as they're not government, financial, gambling, or similar institutions that could be used for malicious intent, like stealing people's information or money. But as long as you need to do that, you can clone any website. What did I say it's illegal? Maybe it's illegal. Maybe it's unethical. Maybe it infringes on copyrights. I don't know. I'm no lawyer. So seek lawyer advice if you have questions, but this website or this platform allow you to clone any website on the internet, Apple, Reddit, YouTube, you name it, it can be cloned as long as they are not in that category that I mentioned before. Let me show you exactly how you can use Sane.dev. I will guide you through the process of creating your prompt, which is relatively simple, but we will progress into more complicated things that can be done using Sane.dev based on my testing. But before we move forward, I will ask you, please share with me, how do you plan to use Sane.dev? Which website would you want to clone using Sane.dev? But more importantly, what will you use it for? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, when you come to Sane.dev, all you have to do is you tell it clone, let's see, twitter.com or should I say S, we will see what it does but now known as S, so it knows exactly which website we're talking about. And unfortunately, there, there is the login wall, so we won't be able to get timeline, but at least we're going to be able to get something out of it. And perhaps, okay, so maybe it's, okay, so he's searching through images since he could not get much from the link that I provided. And now I'm really curious about what it will provide. This is actually really exciting. I have, I hadn't tried that before. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at some of the websites that I have created. And the first one is the Apple website. And actually, let me bring the actual Apple dot com and we can compare them side by side all right the one on the left is the actual apple website the one on the right is the one that was created by same.dev and as you can see they look relatively similar i noticed that this website must have been updated throughout the day today because it looks slightly different and this one was cloned this morning but other than the images being low quality, um, because they were poor to be used, I think it looks relatively nice. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're looking at fairly close clone for the Apple website. I'm working on a flight simulator that I am building using same.dev, not cloning anything specifically, but more trying to get this created. This is a clone for the Figma website created just a few minutes ago. And I gotta say, it looks pretty nice. I really like it. And Looks pretty nice. Now we're going to go back and take a look at what it has done for Twitter. It looked like it's done working, but it ran into an error. So we're going to put it to work again and we will see what it comes up with. Now, while the system is still working, I gotta say that it got like a really nice looking on Twitter clone and we got some posts here. We can click on a post. Actually, it does 
work. I thought it did, but it doesn't. Perhaps because he's still working, getting it done. But we're going to let it finish working on that. But what I would like to do is, I would like to take a prompt and get something done slightly different because we already know that it can clone any website. But can it build a website that is not cloning anything? It's just building it from scratch. Let's take a look. Right now, it's building a landing page for an upcoming CRM that I have. It's called Desmond CRM. It will be an agentic CRM that uses AI agents to complete marketing tasks for you based on the data that you have. So you would be able to understand your users' needs and wants and hopefully predict when they're going to buy or when to maximize the amount of money that we could extract out of a customer. So as an example, if you have a customer that is purchasing from Austin, Texas, and you're selling umbrellas, and we know that it's going to be raining quite a bit at the end of this week. Perhaps on Sunday, I could be sending an email to your customer saying, hey, perhaps you should consider getting an umbrella because the weather is going to be nasty at the end of this week. And hopefully that person buys an umbrella. So it's just a simplified example, but that's the goal that we have with minimal user interaction. So basically you as a store owner don't have to go and look to see who will be affected and who might become a customer. The AI will determine that the AI will send the email, the AI will get the sale and you get to profit. So that's the idea of, that I am building. Now I am building the landing page for it. And what is working on that? Let's go back to the Twitter one. It's still working on it. As you saw before, it was fairly good. It was completely built while these two projects are working. Ooh, look at this. I asked for dark mode with black background and off-white fonts. I asked for animations using frame motions, and I went to the site to look modern. And look at this. It's looking for landing pages ideas on the internet so it can actually use them as inspiration to get inspiration. That's quite nice. I haven't seen any, at least that show it to you, right? Any AI coding tool that does this. I gotta be upfront. I haven't actually done this before. So you and me both are getting the full experience right now. Huh. This is really exciting. I'm excited to see what comes up with. Now Twitter is still working, perhaps. Oh, let's see. Work on it. Let's see if that helps. And then we got read it here that I did this morning. I wanted to show it to you. This is the Reddit website. As you can see, it got a timeline. It got the sidebar. Then it has uh, this widget here at the top. It locks you in. It locks you out. Um, you got quite a few. I, yeah, 404. And you can upvote, downvote. Oh, uh, yeah, there are no communities or anything, but you get the point. Is actually cloning the websites that we're requesting. So that's quite nice. I still working on this landing page. It's making some progress. As you can see, it's keeping pushing forward with it. I'm actually really excited to see what it comes up with. All right, so now that you getting some tech graphics for the background. 
is downloading a few of them. Um, this is actually really interesting. Um, but I will tell you what, let's give a few minutes and let's see what it comes up with. Right, and after a while, here we have the application, um, not the application, the landing page. Let's take a look. I actually really like this, uh, user interface. We got this bouncing around. So this is actually really nice. It goes in line to what I was thinking, even though I didn't provide it that many details. Uh, I wish it, it would have added a few things here and there. Uh, perhaps done a li something as a little bit better. It's still working on it. So there's still some time for it to uh, get some more changes done. But so far, I really like what I see. We will have to see what happens. As far as the Twitter clone, we had a working app, which is not working anymore. Um, I'm not completely sure what happened to it. Let's try this, fixing the errors. Um, but I can say that I play around with it for a little bit. I even requested to add um, additional features like creating the profile page. So uh, I'm not completely sure what happened, but it was doing well up until certain points. Perhaps it got too overwhelmed by so many requests. With that being said, this is the end of this video. I really appreciate you taking your time and watching this video until the end. I really hope that I earn a like and a subscribe. And I would really hope that you wouldn't mind sharing with me what you're trying to clone and how you're planning on using it. Please let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.